What's up everyone? Watch today are nice. We have a spin-off of Fight Gone Bad that we're going to do at home, followed by some upper body strength. Um, first, we'll get into the strength. So we are going to do not for time, all right? Rest as needed, working your way through the reps. It's going to start with 40 dumbbell closed grip floor presses, 60 banded pull-aparts, and 80 banded tricep extensions. All right, so how it's gonna work is you're gonna get on the floor. You'll have your dumbbells. You're gonna have a closed grip, so hands are close together, elbows come straight down tight to the body, and we press straight up. All right, we'll get 40 reps there. Doesn't have to be unbroken, just work your way through 40, resting as needed. All right, then we'll stand up and we'll get 40, or sorry, 60 banded pull-aparts. So you'll grab your band, arms are gonna be straight out, bring them out to the side, squeeze the shoulder blades, and back in. Again, doesn't have to be unbroken, working your way up to 60 reps, rest as needed. All right, and then finally, we're gonna put that band underneath our heels and bring it up behind our head. We're gonna get 80 banded tricep extensions. All right, again, not for time, rest as needed. If you don't have a band, grab your dumbbells. You can do 60 flies instead in lieu of the pull aparts. And then you can take one dumbbell and do tricep extensions in lieu of the tricep extensions with your band. All right, so that is the strength, not for time, working through for quality, getting that strength piece in. Now, the wad is called uh, Garage War. It is three rounds for reps, so you're keeping track of all the reps that you perform throughout the workout. It's gonna start with a double dumbbell thruster for one minute, and then it's going to be double dumbbell power cleans for one minute. It's going to be over the, um, over the dumbbell front and back hops for one minute, double dumbbell uh, push presses for one minute, and then burpees for one minute and then we'll have a one minute rest. So a spin off of Fight Gone Bad, um, you're working for a whole minute, there's a couple different ways to go about this, and then you're counting your reps each minute with one minute of rest at the end for three rounds. All right, so double dumbbell thrusters. We have our dumbbells in our hand. Get them up in the front rack. We squat down and press up overhead. All right, double dumbbell thruster. Double dumbbell power clean, feet are close together, bend over, touch the ground, extend the hips up into the front rack. All right, over and back dumbbell hops, dumbbells on the ground, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. All right, those are the over and back dumbbell hops. One rep is one hop over the dumbbell. When you hop back, that also counts as a rep. All right, dumbbell push presses. We get the dumbbells in the front rack position. Weight is in our heels, we dip, and we drive. All right, dumbbell push press. And then lastly, we have burpees for one minute, followed by a one minute rest. So, different ways to approach this. You can go really hard for a certain period of time, building in some rest at the end. You can put a moderate pace on the workout and just consistently work through each minute with that rest at the end. Or you can do a Tabata style, work for 20 seconds really hard, take 10 seconds off, work for 20 seconds really hard, take 10 seconds off, move into the next minute of movements. All right, so three different ways to approach it, all valuable ways to hit fight gone bad. The thing is, is it's going to get very tiring, especially once you hit that second round. You're gonna go through the whole first round, that one minute rest is not gonna feel that long. You're gonna be right back into those five movements. So you're talking five minutes of work before you get another rest. So it's very important that you pace yourself or build in your own rest somewhere in there so that your body gets a quick break, catch its breath, recover, and then get right back into it to stay efficient. All right, if you try to go really hard out of the gate and maintain that pace, <whistles> crash and burn. All right, so try to think about how you're gonna pace it, how you're gonna address it. Make sure that you, you get those reps in, you're working at a very good pace, whether it's work rest, or if you're pulling that moderate pace and keeping that breath maintained throughout the whole workout, all right? Get after it today, enjoy this workout. Any questions, shoot me an email, send me a text message. Enjoy the day, and we will see you tomorrow.